Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Perita, uh, and I'm an MD, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer of STEMMD. Now, what does STEMMD do? STEMMD is going to set up centers of excellence, and it already has set up many centers of excellence throughout the United States in regenerative medicine. What we're going to do is we're going to have specially trained physicians that follow certain protocols, many of which I've devised, and they're going to use this for various orthopedic conditions. What we're trying to do is keep these patients out of the operating room. We're trying to make this a very viable alternative to them, an alternative where they don't have to go to the operating room or the hospital, where they can miss maybe a day or two of work rather than weeks of work. So that's our goal, and we're so far quite successful, and we're growing by leaps and bounds. Well, obviously, less risk right off the bat. Instead of us making a large incision, we're basically making a pinhole incision to obtain our fat from a simple little mini liposuction and to obtain our bone marrow pretty much the same way. So right off the bat, much less invasive. It depends on the type of surgery. I mean, if I do an arthroscopy of someone, a couple days, but uh, I can do a, uh, a knee replacement, although I don't have the time to do them anymore, that would be weeks. Whereas if I do stem cells for a person who needed a knee replacement, you're talking about a few days before they can get back to work. And sometimes we'll do them on a Friday, they're back to work on a Monday. Maybe hurting, sure, but they're at least able to go to work. Much less costly in the long run. Think about it, if you have to spend uh, five or six days in a hospital, and then you have to spend you know, loads of time in physical therapy, it's gonna be much less uh, productive for you. So we can get patients back to work within days rather than the typical orthopedic surgery can take weeks to months. Anytime you have a therapy, there's a risk. You get your blood drawn, there's a risk you could get an infection. So for me to say there's no risk would be foolish and stupid, and I won't say that. So far, knock on wood, we've not had any real complications with any of our cases, and we've done thousands of cases. But there's always a chance of an infection. It may not work. Um, we've not seen any real problems, but anything's possible, and I will tell patients right off the bat, you never know what could happen. There's a couple of schools of thought here. There's some schools of thought that say bone marrow is the best source of stem cells. Other schools of thought fat is the best source of stem cells. Well, if we really look at the literature, the literature says they both are the best source of stem cells. So I just said, hey, let me marry these two uh, technologies together. So I'm one of the few people that uses both fat and bone marrow. And, and this is really what I think sets us apart because we're doing these things right from the get-go. Professional athletes are very, very shrewd. They know what they need to do to keep their career going. And you're seeing professional athletes flocking to stem cell therapies. That tells you something. They're usually way ahead of the curve because you know when you're making $10 million a year and you have to keep yourself going, you're gonna do any kind of research possible. And when you see these fellows doing it, you know that this is something that's worthwhile doing and valid to do. If you have any questions of us, don't hesitate to call. Our staff is very well trained in answering questions, and if need be, I can always answer the question. And with that, good day.